Okay. Ow! This video is over. Leo's not going to the pumpkin patch. guys and welcome to our Halloween series where you guys guess which of my birds is gonna do what when they go to a pumpkin patch and today you have all asked me to see Leo so let's see what Leo does at the pumpkin patch now in honor of guessing what Leo is gonna do Leo loves food loves 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 food so on first interaction you might think he's gonna eat up all the pumpkin but he might not know it's food, and so that's gonna be a thing. So let's get Leo in. By the way, did I say, my name is Marlene McCohen. Welcome to my channel, I have no idea. I'm so glad you're here, but we got business to take care of. Let's get right into the video. Leo, I'm gonna take you to a pumpkin patch today. Are you excited about it? Wow, that seems like you have never seen a watch before. Okay, Leo, we're gonna do something. Really, really, come on, let's go. <gasps> Oh, I was rude. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm pretending. Okay. You we making up? Okay. Oh. Oh, you're tricking me. Okay. Ow! <laughs> this video is over. Leo's not going to the pumpkin patch. Uh, we have a minor situation. Leo is going to the pumpkin patch, but in this case, there may already be a bird there because the bird is sleeping. So I don't want to disturb the bird. And also if the bird isn't the center of the room, that bird is going to lose her. And also um, for those of you, um, I'm sure most of you can guess, but here, pop quiz, just stop this video right now or actually think uh, what kind of bird is most likely, I mean, they all do this, to lose their marbles if they can't see you and leave the room? Uh, answer is all of them, but, but this answer specifically, when you see what kind of bird this is, you're gonna know. All right, so she's sleeping. We're not gonna disturb her. Jersey, you would be correct. She is sleeping at the pumpkin patch. All right, all right. I don't know if he ate enough today. Leo, here we go to the pumpkin patch. Oh wow, he is food driven. Whoa. He knows that it's food. See, this is why I love Amazons. Now I'm not speaking for all Amazons, but this guy, like I could live in an apartment with this bird because he's not destructive. He doesn't destroy things. Actually, he's kind of a rare bird. Barely even talks. He doesn't talk at all. He gives speeches. Jersey, you're not in this video, remember? Okay, Leo, so we're pumpkin patch shopping today. I'm very impressed you're not scared of them. What do you think? You're literally from a different segment, okay? Look at this. You could see in his face he's doing like that. Sometimes with birds you gotta make food look interesting. Now look, I, first of all, I know this pumpkin may not be the most appealing thing, but you see some birds, you can't just assume that they're not going to eat it within the first two seconds if they don't take it. If they throw it, that's another thing, but I would still try again. But with Leo, there's outside factors making him not want to try this. He doesn't like to eat under a threat. So sometimes things that I know that he loves, he will not eat if another bird is around. Like he has to be in a certain spot. Do you see? Um, he feels more comfortable eating next to me. Downstairs in a situation where he is, he wants to eat in the furthest spot, like high on a cage where he sees everything that's going on and he feels like no other bird could reach him. Um, so you have to look at them and what they're indicating, like with even the finest movement of his eyes, like his eyes were doing this, like it's just a small move. He's got big eyes. So like, you know, his eyes were doing this very tiny, which I knew he was interested, but his body wasn't doing that. So now at least I know that he gave it a try. You see like this is cut. 
So he genuinely may not like it. There you go. Here he's eating it again. See, he's trying it again. Leo will give things multiple tries. At minimum, even if your bird is shredding something, then you know they're going through it and getting some nutrients or at least finding different pieces of it. Birds can be picky about the parts of things. Sometimes birds don't wanna hold things. They get lazy, especially if you make them lazy, if you sit there holding something, that can be to your detriment later on because they'll expect you to hold it. So even if the food falls, decide if they threw it or if it fell, because if it just fell, they might not be done with it. Leo's looking like he really enjoys this. See, here's another thing. If I move and I get out of position, he may not eat anymore, and that's something that I know. A lot of times you're gonna have to understand that your behavior can cause different things, good or bad. You will start learning if you're very in tune. There are two directions I could go while he's eating. If I walked over here, he might still eat. I feel like if I went over there, he wouldn't eat at all. But overall, if I move, he might not continue to eat. So there's a lot of things I'm taking into consideration here. So let's see, I'm gonna go out of frame now. Instead of concentrating on eating, he's more concerned with, am I leaving him? So he has totally pivoted his attention onto me. I knew that would happen, but you see he's not trying to fly towards me, he just stopped eating. If I went over here, let's say, He's gonna lose complete interest in the food. So these are the things that you have to take into consideration if you want a bird to eat, if you wanna see if he really likes something. It may not be the food, it may be your position, your movement, your preference, his safety, all sorts of crazy factors. And you have to get to know that because a lot of people say, oh, my bird won't try this or he doesn't like that and I mean I've been there I do that with a lot of things and then I find out whoa it wasn't that I wasn't in the right position at the right time and then there's other fat birds that'll take anything and throw it and and tell you what they want but then you get birds like this they have like more of a timid personality did you choose your pumpkin at the pumpkin patch yeah. your favorite pumpkin yeah okay this is the pumpkin that Leo is going to be going home with so this pumpkin patch episode turned into a completely different lesson, but I'm so happy to be able to show you an example of this live. Sometimes I wanna tell you a lot of things that I, I don't have like a camera on me at that time and I can't recreate. And even if I could, if someone else is not holding the camera in that right spot at that time, I really can't make it happen for you to see. So I'm really happy that we had this experience today. I hope that helps you become more in tune with your birdie. Leo and I had a great time at the pumpkin patch day. So far, he's the only bird that has eaten the pumpkins. I love you guys so much. Let me know in the comments your favorite part of this video and which bird you want to see next. If you wanna check out our other videos that you don't usually get to see here, check out my vlog channel. I'll put it in the link below. I've been posting a lot there and uh, having a lot of fun. I just wanna make another channel where I could kinda of put anything. So I don't even know what it's gonna be, but I have a lot of vlogs ready to go. I love you guys so much. Bye.